There's a program in the computer to draw patterns with lines. Just by pressing one or two of these keys, you can make all sorts of changes. Will you watch? another story about the mad mathematician and what happened to him at the castle of the king. The king's great great granddad had built his castle right on top of the highest hill in the land and in the farthest corner of the castle in a tower at the top of a winding staircase there stayed the mad mathematician. Off with his head! roared the king when he learned that the mathematician had arrived. Yeah, but, but, but why? Said the king's chamberlain, who, like many of the king's subjects, was rather a fan of the mad mathematician. Yeah, because I can't stand... Well, well, because he's far too popular. Well, because I say so. Said the king. And uh, that's good enough for you. Off with his head! Now, the chamberlain was rather worried about all the executions that had been taking place. And in any case, he was hoping he could get the mathematician to check last week's milk bill. If only he could postpone the execution. Why don't you set the mathematician a really hard task? Said the Chamberlain. And if he can't do it, then, then you have a good reason for executing him. Oh, it's really not a bad idea, thought the King. And he summoned the mathematician. You must draw uh, uh, a windmill. The king commanded. And my daughter will be the judge of it. Have it ready in the throne room at noon tomorrow. At the appointed hour, the mathematician came to the throne room with the drawing. Almost immediately, the princess said, Oh, look at that lovely windmill, your majesty. The king had to admit that it was a fine drawing. And turning to the mathematician, he said, uh, Tell me. How did you come to draw such a splendid windmill? Oh, it's no secret. First, I imagine the surface to be made up of hundreds of lines. Some of the lines are straight. Some are curved. And they go this way, that way, and all ways. Then all I have to do is to pick out those lines I need to make the windmill. Really? Said the king, trying not to look too interested. We shall see how you get on next week when things will be a lot more difficult. <laughs> Right, here's a problem for you. What am I counting in? You try this as well. It's quite easy, this one. Ready? Counting in three. One, two, three, one. Absolutely right. And that's what this abacus is doing. Counting in threes. <laughs> Why, 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 why
ideas for line printing. Straight lines to make curves. Hmm. Hey, that's good, that. I've seen something else like that. Come and have a look. Here, have a look at this. R-U-N, run. Yeah. Straight lines and curves. Goodbye. Goodbye.
You can't see me, but you can hear what I say. Sound can be useful for communication. But sometimes there's so much noise that you can't hear a thing. What you need to do is control the noise. And to do that, you have to understand what sound is. The early morning is often very quiet. Even the smallest sounds are clear. But what is sound? Where does it come from? Could you find out where sound comes from? Is it movement that makes sound? What sort of movement? Sound is caused by vibration. Sound is vibration.